I just wanted to ask you kind of what you thought about the stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I shared with you that I was like Miss Louisiana, and so I did know Holly a little bit before going into this. You did. I probably had spent maybe like collectively three hours with her, like together, even at Miss USA. And it's difficult for me to be in this position, but I do know that she asked that I not tell producers that we knew one another. And I didn't really understand why, um, because I was like, it's not, I don't want to lie, I can't lie. Um, I didn't think of it much then, but looking back now, I'm like, well, she did ask me to lie. I'm like, that's not who I am. And um, coming into this, she was really open to all the opportunities that will come after this, even if you weren't her husband. So maybe she's not the one for you. Thank you for that honesty. Like, I feel like our conversation really was exactly what I needed. I feel so much better now. I needed that. Want a belly rub? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. If I, we talk again? OK, so, fine. I'm right. coming, I'm coming. I don't know where my shoes are. Right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just very much confused. More confused than ever. I don't have the time to waste on someone that's not here for me. I hate that I feel like I have to keep bringing this kind of stuff up with you. Because mm -hmm. um, I kind of just hope that we had squashed, you know, it, the last talk we just had earlier today. Yeah. Um, but I just still don't feel 100%, I guess, good about it. Um, okay. And the reason I say that is because uh, it's not just like one or like two, you know, girls that have I've brought stuff up. It's been multiple people that have kind of brought stuff up. And um, I just, I guess I have some questions that I just want just honest, direct answers to. Okay, I mean, yeah, I'm, I promise I'll tell you whatever you need to, I guess I'm, I'm sorry, like. I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus, but maybe you've been like a little manipulative towards some Boy, of the other women. What? Um, I'm really like, confused. Like who? Did you tell Victoria uh -huh. to tell the producers you guys didn't know each other before you came on the show? That's what we're talking about. Like Victoria and I are friends outside of it. Like Victoria P and I know each other very well outside of this environment. And so basically, before getting here, my biggest fear was that I would get disqualified and she would get disqualified because we knew the other person was coming. And I didn't want that for her. I didn't want that for me. And I was very scared for both of us that that was going to be an issue. Like, that's all it was. It wasn't me being manipulative. Like, I'm just shocked that that would even be, like, brought up as manipulative. Like, at the end of the day, that's why I am here is to get to know you. And that is why I didn't want, like, this chance to know you to be taken away from me. I mean, what, what, Peter? That doesn't, like, do you not see, like, from my side, how all I've asked from the very beginning is just to be open and real and raw and truthful. Yes, and yeah, I do. I, I've told you so many times, like, I like you a lot. Like, I, I, I know that, I, and I'm being I'm honest not, with you. I'm, I'm not lying to you about anything. This, I mean. Just try to, like, look from my perspective. I am, I'm trying, but like, I that, guess. It, it, that doesn't look genuine. Because for everything that I've seen for Victoria so far, like she just seems like she'd have no reason to lie. And hearing that you were trying to like cover it up, that you guys knew each other and just... It's, no, I'm it, not trying to cover up that we know each other. That's not at all it. It was just I didn't want us to not be able to be here because we like knew the other person was doing it. Okay. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I just got a lot to think about, so.